Hey everybody, welcome to the Apple Ninja. Today we're going to do a little backup remotely with the command line. Super slick. I'm going to show you a couple commands. It's going to be super easy. I also wanted to let you know, I finally am able to do my first giveaway. I'm giving away a pair of AirPod Pros. I don't even have these things. My wife is like, what? And, but do you know what? I told you guys, once I hit that thousand subscriber mark, I was doing it. I'm giving these things away. I'm kind of excited about doing it. I can't wait to see who wins. I will let you know more in probably the next two weeks in one of the videos coming up. So stay tuned. And let's dive into this backup, this remote backup. You're going to love this. All right, let's check it out. If you're new to the channel, we geek out on everything Apple. So get subscribed and make sure to hit that alert icon so you get the latest content. All right, so what we got here is I got this folder here. I want to copy it to a remote Mac. And I can do this with any folder on the Mac, right? Um, I can copy all this stuff over, my user folder, all my documents, whatever I want. I'm just doing it with this one folder just to show you. I created a screen sharing session over to that other Mac so that I can show you how to set up the remote login feature. Um, this screen sharing, if you don't know how to do this, I do have another video. Link is up somewhere if you want to check that out after you're done watching this video. Feel free. Um, so let's, on this remote Mac, I want to set up remote login. We're going to open up system preferences. We're going to go into sharing down at the bottom and we're gonna enable this remote login. When I click that, you're gonna notice that it says right here, SSH Mac guy at 192.168.1.19. That is the address and the user that I need to use because that's the guy or the user that is specified to be able to remote into this Mac. The command that we're first going to use, secure copy, utilizes SSH Foundation to be able to complete its ability to securely copy the files over. So on the host Mac, I am going to, now that we have that enabled on that remote Mac, on this Mac, I'm going to use Spotlight and I'm going to open up Terminal. I'm going to blow that guy up, Command Plus. So you'll be able to see this pop up on that desktop. Right here on the desktop is where we're gonna copy this. So the first command we're gonna use is secure copy. We're just gonna type in secure copy. And we wanna do a minus R and a P. The R is for recursive and the P is to preserve some of those permissions that we wanna keep. We're gonna hit a space, drag this folder in there and then we're going to look at this down here in that window and we're going to say, okay, we want Mac guy at 192.168. Mac guy at 192.168.1.19. And then a colon. We'll use the tilde to specify Mac guy's user folder slash desktop. We want it to go onto his desktop. whack and that looks correct hit return type in the password you're gonna see it copying all those files and it's already done boom copied this whole directory over there super fast so now I'm gonna delete that folder we're going to go back here, hit Command K to clear the screen. The second command we're going to use is the rsync command. So we're going to type in rsync minus AV. The A is for archive, and that's going to preserve permissions and do the recursive copy as well for the internal folders. The V is for verbose so that we see some output of what's being copied. 
we're gonna drag this folder onto there back up one put a whack then a star because we're copying all the files from that folder into that remote location that we're defining and we're doing Mac guy again at 192.168.1.19 colon tilde slash desktop and then let's just do security docs as a folder name so I'm taking everything that's within that Mac OS iOS security guides folder and I'm dropping it into a folder on that desktop named security docs. I'm gonna hit return, enter the password. Boom. Done. That is the quickest way to remotely copy files. This is how most server admins back up things they use one of flavor of one of these copy uh, utilities and I mean I'm actually building a backup setup that does it all automatic with uh, SSH keys to between the devices so you don't have to enter passwords and stuff like that when I get that done I'll share it with you guys um, but other than that you guys have an amazing week. Take care and thank you for all the support. It means a lot to me. Take care.